All right, my name is Dennis Castro. I'm here to teach about a two-step equation. Well, in order for me to do that, I gotta take you out through that time machine and take you way back to elementary school. So how am I gonna do that? I'm not building no time machine right now. What's gonna end up happening, I'm gonna show you a little example from back in the day. Remember seeing something like that on a worksheet when you're in elementary? Yeah. Right, right, the crowd says yes. Well, yes, how do we solve those kind of problems? Well, I mean, for the most part, it came down to a little bit of just, you know, guess and check. I mean, I'll plug in the one. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? That doesn't make sense, right? Well, we're gonna do something like that in a little bit, but a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated. So don't get, don't, don't get disappointed. Right? Maybe I'll get you out to the promise line. But what ended up happening back in elementary, we would end up having to do this strategy, right? Let's draw four circles for our total, two for those. So ultimately, if I may ask, what am I missing here? Like as far as the circle? Yeah. Two, right? So what I want. Since she said the correct answer, I want y'all to say, Dana. So let's do that on three. One, two, three. Dana. Dana. All right, so good. So that ends up giving us a solution, right? Two plus two equals four. Cool, cool. Now, you may say, well, why are you just pressing it and going with the plus sign? Well, all right, I'll change it up for you. I'll give you the subtraction sign. Then. So for starters, we used to have something like this, right? And back. Back in the day, that was a similar strategy, right? Similar strategy to draw two circles. And how do I get rid, rid of these two circles? What would you suggest me to do to get rid of these two circles? Take away two circles? Right. So if I take away two, two minus two, blank. Absolutely nothing about those. Great job. Let's do that for him too. For, for Zach on three. Zach. Zach. So now, moving forward, I want to start off talking about these, uh, more, more complicated case. So, I'm gonna put it on four. This ends up being 2a plus 2 yeah. equals, I want a minus, I'm sorry. I, just, I like the minus sign better, you guys. So, how this works, you're used to the fill in the blank and you know, kind of just like, put a circle there or whatever. This is a little more complicated, so we gotta do two steps. Keyword, two step equation. So, how am I gonna do that? Well, for starters, this is a minus sign, so let me make it more look like that way. So with the minus sign there, what it ends up telling you is like whatever minus sign you have, you have to do what they call the, what the mathematicians like to call the inverse operation. But for our case, for us to remember it, we're just going to do the opposite of the operation or whatever it's asking for. So let's go over our, so I want to say, what's the opposite of, a, of addition? Subtraction. Right. What's the opposite of subtraction? Addition. addition. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. division. And the opposite of division? Multiplication. So, right. So that's all we're going to end up doing. So we're starting. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to dissolve this. I'm going to add two. But key word, what I do to one side, I got to do to the other. Hint, hint, here to here, right? Two plus two. So this ends up canceling out. I'll bring this bad boy down here. And then zero plus two is two. And finally, that was the first step. So from here, we, you know, we did the first step of this problem, like I said already. So, how do we finish this? How is this different from your elementary step problem? Well, it's just an extra step. So how am I gonna do that? I have a multiplication problem going on here. My x's and my two are together. So I want my x by itself. I wanna isolate it. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do the opposite of this. So this is a multiplication. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So when this happens, x equals one. So to just read what we did here, what we made happen in this room. What's that happening? When I have a plus sign next to my x, what do I need? Subtraction. When I have a subtraction, um, a subtraction sign next to my x, what do I need? Addition. When I have multiplication going on, what do I need? Division. And ultimately, what do I need when, I divide, when I'm dividing something? Multiplication. But most importantly, at the end of the day, what I do to one side, I do to the other. Thank you, class.